there's the all new apple watch ultra for extreme fitness buffs We're here to talk about the brand new series 8 like the series 7, the series 6 before that and the series 5 before that the series 8 is a fairly iterative update. As in most of the changes this time around are invisible to the naked eye. Seriously it's got the exact same design as the series 7. It just comes in slightly different colors. You can also get the series 8 in 41mm if you've got petite wrists or just prefer a smaller watch. Namely, it's got the new S8 chip. With the S8, Apple isn't promising huge performance or battery life gains, it's more that it's adding a bunch of new sensors. For starters, the S8 adds two new temperature sensors. There's one right under the display that measures your environmental temperature and another closer to the skin that measures wrist temperature. You're not meant to use this in a medical capacity or as a contraceptive. There are other apps and devices out there that are FDA cleared for that purpose but this isn't one of them. Don't use the series 8 for that. The other new sensors in the series 8 are a soaked up high G accelerometer and an improved gyroscope. These two sensors work with the barometer, GPS and microphone to detect if you've been in a seaway car crash. If you have, the watch will alert emergency services for you. The new accelerometer can detect up to 256 GS. And the feature is designed to detect extreme impact and sudden changes in speed. While these are the two marquee updates with the Series 8, you also get a bunch of new features with Watch OS 9. These updates will also be coming to the Series 4 or later, so they are not exclusive to the Series 8. As with every new version of Watch OS, you get some nifty new watch faces. I've particularly liked the Metropolitan and Lunar watch faces as well as the new color backgrounds for the modular watch face. And before you ask, yes, Watch OS 9 introduces a new low power battery mode. This low power mode turns off the always on display background sensors and limits Wi-Fi and cellular connectivity. It's still not quite at the level as say a Fitbit or Aura Ring but it's a lot better than it used to be. If you've been diagnosed with AFib, the watch can also now passively monitor your AFib history. On the fitness front, Watch OS 9 adds some new running metrics like running power, vertical oscillation, stride length and ground contact time. If you're on a series 3 or 4, again if you're on a series 6 or later, you're not gaining much by upgrading. While the Ultra is the shiny new Apple Watch on the block, I gotta say, this is the best Apple Watch for the vast majority of people. It's not only more affordable, but the style is also more versatile for formal occasions or if you have smaller wrists. So what feature are you most excited about? Let us know in the comments and don't forget to hit the subscribe button and press the bell icon. Take care, see you next time again.